Through the finish, you know. Yeah. You yeah. guys felt the vibes. Yeah. Um, another week, same two, three black people here. Um, today's vibes are, I don't want to say, I don't know how I'm feeling. Like, I don't think Charles has had the same hairstyle for consecutive episodes <laughs> in a long time. Listen, call this black excellence. That's what we call this. Um, <laughs> shout out to my sister girls. Uh, but I think. I think I'm trying to find out what are my vibes because my vibes are well. Let, let's let's start with vibes, mm-hmm. the idea of vibes. Okay. Um, I think vibes are great, but we need to find a better curation for the vibes. I feel that the curator of vibes. <laughs> what, you yeah. for it? <laughs> what are you talking about? You said let's start with vibes. <laughs> let's start with vibes. We'll break down vibes. Yeah, vibes. I just feel like. As a curator of vibes. You curate vibes? Wow, which I am. I'm definitely a curator of vibes. Really? For sure. You don't think so? I didn't know that was your title. I mean, I wouldn't make it I like... I didn't know that was your steez. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, I thought I was a curator of vibes. Wow. <laughs> I personally have never thought I was one, so it's just like, I don't I know. I thought that they, was stated <laughs> maybe on this platform like. before. That I don't I was know what that looks like. I mean... I, I feel as though I just like dibble and dabble. And now you're, you're just jumping the gun and saying that you're now the curator. I'm of sorry. Vibes. I'm sorry. No, no. I, I'm I mean, sorry. please. I'm sorry. As the please. curator no, of no, vibes, no, no, no. Please. I it, I no, it, please. I wouldn't say I am the like with the you know like the great him. I wouldn't say I am the. Hey, shout out to him. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. Shout out I'm to not him. saying like the, but I do say I, I I dibble and dabble with the vibes for sure. And I'm just saying like as we assess vibes. I feel as though we need to do a better job of it. I feel as though we're giving everybody too much free reign on being curator of vibes. Now, you can always curate your own vibes, but the vibes, like the <laughs> overall vibes, I feel like we got to put some gatekeeper on that. Personally, that's just how I feel. I don't know how other people feel, but. I don't be curating vibes, so I'm going to let y'all have But you one. be part of the vibes. Like, you don't want the vibes be around. Do you not be there? Or I'll do be you? there. So I'm saying, if you part of the vibes, I don't, you don't have no say. But if I'm there, then it's a vibe. So, uh, so maybe you're a curator of vibes then. I'm just saying, if you are there and then it becomes a vibe, maybe you're the curator of vibes. Nah, I ain't about to give myself all that. That's somebody else title. That's somebody else, you know what I'm saying, to, to bestow on you? Yeah. But here's the thing about, like, titles being bestowed on you. I, I see what you're saying, but we know when a vibe is a vibe. For sure. So if you make the vibe what the vibe is, you may be a curator of vibes. Hey, man. How do you gatekeep? Because <laughs> you, you said you want to... Wants to have a gatekeeper gate for the vibe. You just have to. You just gotta be loud and out there. So like, niggas be gatekeeping. So what exactly do you want to stop? Since you want to gatekeep vibes. All right, that's a good question. So I feel as though we we've, we've allowed anyone and anything, not anything, but we allowed anyone to sort of anyone and everyone. Any thank you. We've allowed anyone and everyone to kind of consider themselves in the in the. <laughs> In the in the in the community, mm-hmm. so they feel as though they can get towards the vibe. So maybe they're not a curator, but they're part of the vibes. So first, you have to start with who gets allowed access. You cannot be here like you can come enjoy the vibes, like you know, passing through, you know, as a guest. But you cannot be part of the community of vibes. I think that's first and foremost. Hmm. I think that's. I think we have to gatekeep who can be part of the vibes. Hmm. I think that's a fair starting point. It works. Do you? I mean, you don't have to agree, but do you? But I'm, I'm saying, do you hear where my where my points are going? Uh, yeah. So first, I see your foresight. You see my foresight. So first, who can get in here? Because here's the thing: like, think about it. There are certain parts of society in which, like, we we're not that we're not privy to, but like, they're just not fucking with us, like country club type shit. Like, I'm sure we can try our hardest. We can wear our polos, and, but they're just gonna be like, nah, you're not. That's not, this is not for you at all. I think I can make it in. 
See, if you could, you might be the curator of vibes then. Because if you could get be. there, that'd be different. Personally, me personally, no. Nah. I, I think I think at a certain point they'd just be like, yeah, you, you're not you're not yeah, gelling with sure. the, you're not gelling with the vibes. Because we're for me and Charles are gonna try to smoke on the golf course uh, at least once. That's a fact. Maybe not, you know. Maybe not the first day. Maybe not the second one. But you won't be the only one. No, 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 but no, 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 no. Not with We're smoke. trying to blow this yeah. down. Like, we're, trying we're playing eighteen. Trying holes, to smoke the sticky like, We're here. I drink a beer with these guys. Yeah, that's drink, let me in. drinking a beer let me is in. different. I fit right in. Me and Charles. That's what I'm saying. This guy's a fit right in. Yeah, I fit right in. Right 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 you've been wearing maybe, maybe for a long maybe, time. Maybe, maybe <laughs> you're a cur- <laughs> See, that's the thing. Maybe you're a curator of those vibes. Yeah. yeah. I think we're curator of all, all types of vibes. All types of vibes? All types of vibes. All types? The random vibes. I don't think the country club vibes and our vibes are the same. Here's my thing about you saying you want to gatekeep a vibe. Yeah. I think wherever, you know, wherever you may be, whoever, I guess, is in charge of said vibes. Vibes. It's their vibe to curate. So how could you be mad at you know what? the country club for having their set of vibes? No, 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 no. That's the, I, I see, but 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 this but is I where ain't be in that's my club point. Vibe. Like that's not my vibe. That's for them. They curate those vibes. Okay. Those aren't the vibes I'm going for. You know what vibes we're talking about? We're talking about. Um, Shout out to ha- Hazy Thoughts. You should watch uh, our first video for on sure. the YouTube. Uh, Hazy Thoughts Party Cookout, where you see the vibes I'm talking about. Like those are the curation of vibes I'm I'm speaking of. It's a good video. So you so what houses like, on that block didn't have power, but we had power. Curation of vibes and food. We brought the people. And curation of vibes. Maybe somebody didn't like those vibes. Don't say that. That's fine. No one called not the police. liking a vibe well, doesn't not make it a vibe. No one called <laughs> the police. Well, I mean, Once again, not liking a vibe <laughs> does not make it a not a vibe. Just putting that out there. Like you can you can not like greatness and there'll still be greatness, baby. Well, if not liking a vibe is what you said, then there should be no gatekeeping. No, no, but we have to. We, there's, there's at a certain point we have to gatekeep everything because if you don't, it will run amok. We see that with mostly everything in society. Mm-hmm. If you do not have somebody to say, uh, uh-uh. <laughs> and even if that person is wrong, then you will have the because this is what I believe. I believe the group will ultimately, if it's real, will ultimately um, bear everything out. Mm-hmm. So if somebody is wrong who gatekeeps, the group will be like, "You're wrong on this one, champ." And he or she should be overruled. Low key happened with Lil Uzi. If you want to be, if that that's a little that's a great example because they gatekeeped him out after his first two albums. They locked him down for like two three years. And then he comes out, drops a double disc, and is like the hottest nigga in the world right now. So you can't gatekeep, gatekeep greatness because at the end of the day, your target audience is like. You're a curator of vibes. You're a curator of vibes. Is Lil Uzi at? Hmm. So, switching from vibes. Well, this is probably part of the vibe story. Um, you guys are like sneakerheads, I guess. Anymore? Do you guys know that not a title? You guys are. I don't, I'm not a title of that person. You're not a title. I keep up with it though. A mad hit. Listen, Johnson, Okay. Well, speaks for. It. I got some shoes. Um. I'm not a sneaker here, but I got some shoes. For Respect the, for, for the camera audience. If you've been here, you know the vibes. If you know me, you know the vibes. Where's that? I got some little, shoes. Little flex. Once a sneakerhead, always a sneakerhead, bro. I like that. I like that. I, I'm glad you gave me something concrete. Okay. I gotta set this up. Oh, I'm sorry, audience. Jesus. That's a first. Yeah, I just recently set this back up. I don't know why. Mm, nasty behavior. <laughs> uh, Possibly. With that being said, um, do not disturb, boy. as a sneakerhead, <laughs> please. I guess this. How is do you feel about the what recently took place with the Nike executive who got fired after working there for twenty five years because her son was not only using the corporate credit card to stock his retail store, boutique retail store, he was selling information, Nike information on Discord chats I for almost a hundred k. I knew this. A month. I knew this. With that being said, how do you feel about, first of all, the I mean, sneaker game? talked about this like three years ago. Probably. The sneaker game. This is not the first time this has happened. No, 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 it's Door not. But to, the, but, to oh, the lev- but to the level it happened, I think, is a, it's definitely first. a first. Um, it's some kingpin shit. And also, the brazenness. I think that would be my part about going to a public. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, stay away from that stuff. You don't like those topics. That's a part of the story. You said you don't like those topics. Come on, bro. Stay with the tennis shoes, buddy. Stay with the tennis shoes. Stay with the tennis shoes. You're a sneakerhead. Stay with the tennis shoes. Stay with that. Stay with the tennis shoes. White privilege. 
So with the tennis shoes. <laughs> like when you when you when you telling me your son is responsible for doing this unknowingly that you have a hundred K mysteriously just gone from your credit card account, but you didn't know. Business. Account. But the next day you resign. You didn't resign. Nike told you you can't work here no more. And because you're a Caucasian woman, they let you just gracefully bow out and say you resign. They part of ways. If you know anything about Nike, um, this has happened before. This is not the first time. Um, but anything like in the world, mm, well, no, we'll forget about this. Once story. again, a week and a half or something like that. So. Probably it'll be forgotten by, you know, by, the, by, by now we're talking about it. But this episode comes out. Yeah. My oh, thing would be, though. <laughs> fuck Ann. Right. Fuck Ann Herbert. Well, I didn't get no shoes today because of you, Ann. Well, that would be my thing. If it's happened before, why fuck Ann Herbert? This white privilege. Sam, bro, that's why don't I'm resign. Saying. She that's needs to get care, something bro. needs to happen. That's what I'm saying. It can't be stock, both ways, in my opinion. Stock X is a thing because of what they do. Well, well, see that. See that's where I'm, and that's where it gets interesting to me personally because I, from the business side, because if I know I'm not going to get in retail, I'm going straight to stock X. To stock X. But there's goat. There's yeah. a, there's a bunch of other entities it's that size have as official. It's a European site, but it's also official. But there's enough. There's enough. They're I saying think Nike funds all. That's my point. Exactly. There's enough. There's that's enough private saying. boutiques so it's white in which yes. are funded directly by Nike. But we if kind you have of a vendors license. You can so, and you can resell shoes. But then. that's the thing. But that's my issue. This is my larger issue personally. What's the issue? If capitalism is the game that everybody doesn't want to dismantle, yeah. Then why not, are you get why are you getting I'm mad not at knocking it? the I'm not knocking the son because he he did it in poor ethics. For sure. There are business ethics to uphold. Whether you believe everyone does it or not is another question. But there are certain things that people that believe. Go back to what Omatic said earlier with the white privilege and how they abuse the business ethics and things like that. Well, but that's the thing. I think it's different between Nike funding another business I'm and hit. then an employee Big, of Nike yes, funding having, a business. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like Nike as stuff. an entity doing it is one thing. Yeah. You and your son partnering up to do it is another. And I think one thing I read interesting was on the taxes, her husband actually was the one who LLC the LLC. company it's, like in 2018. he was 17, he wasn't even old enough to get it. In 2018, yet. and then um, see, I didn't whenever... I did hear that, and that makes everything yeah, even bro. worse. But see, that to me is the... That's the more interesting That to me thing. is the more interesting part. That that, the whole because the parents had to come in on that. Like, that's the, the ele- like, the because, parents had to yes, agree on that. Basically, the parents, to my, how I see it, is that the mother was like, oh, this is a cash grab for me. For sure. And then the son said, well... There's something else in benefit for me on the Discord chat. Silent partner. I think that's where he made a lot of his money. I don't see. He made honest. way more money on the Discord chat. I don't and his see parents made way more money investing in actual over, overloading the, the inventory of shoes yeah, and of shit inventory. like that. For sure. I don't see the need. Because she was the plug. Well, you know what? I, see I don't the see need. the need for need. this whole for that whole <laughs> situation. I don't see the but, need. But this is the thing about information. Generational wealth. Fuck that. They're Fuck already that. Wrong. Yeah. The You're thing, already the good. Thing is You're telling me you don't see 100K no, 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 gone no, no, no. from your account? No, no, no. But my nigga, I check my account every day. No, you're right. You're every right. day I check listen, my account. Listen, she knew. Well, you're rich. You're checking your account. Say, I never say she didn't know. But this is the thing. I think... It doesn't make sense to me. But, but also... You, no, no, no. I think it does. If you think about it like... If you look at it like from this standpoint... There's a reason why the it, husband and it's a not power the parents... Plan. It's a power play. Like... Growing that job. If you do that, you have information. If you have information, you have access Possible so, deniability, my nigga. I don't know what he's talking about as far as the family. I'm just talking about the access to information. <laughs> as long as you have access to information, you have power. So, like, in a part of the sector, Nike is a big part of the footwear For sure, industry. Sector. If he has the information as far as when the shoes are coming in, how many she was pairs are you in? for sneakers the, that, bro. Per state, and if she per has, county. if he has all of that information... Bruh. He has power. I didn't sure. get the shoes because of niggas or white people like him today, bro. But the thing about like, the, see, see this idea of bots and stuff, I think that's 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 cute, but that's not the story. The story is, is the, story. the, infor- it's not the but story. the thing is, bots have been around. Bots sure. are literally an infor- or internet thing that people created, and then the rich people said, "All right, we're gonna you know gonna buy all these we're gonna buy them up. out." So like the idea of bots don't really move me because like you said, that's part of the game. Whether you like you know it or not, dot coms died in the early two thousands and became bots. Whether you like it or not, that's what like that was their sole purpose. That's what the resale is. Bots, re, all, that's yes. part of the game, and that's For a part sure. of the game that I think everybody's okay with. 
Whether you like it or not, you're just like, hey. A pod is just a shell corporation. I'm trying to get a pod. Well, exactly. You just, you just part of the game. I'm tired of this you're shit. You're just part of the game. <laughs> I'm sick but of this shit. When someone, I just want the karma. When someone decides to, like, I w- to sell information, that's intriguing to me. Like, information is power. Mm-hmm. And anytime you have information, I'm curious as to, like, it's the newest who, can you bla- who can you blackmail? Like, who? Think about it like this. A retailer who sells something other than shoes now is at your disposal. Mm-hmm. Because if they sell something that you may want and you have information on them to get something that could bring them back more money. Now you can get a piece of the inventory. Now you can get some Nobody's of this. Going to jail. Well, no one goes to jail for a lot of things. So I don't sure. really think that's this a big white collar crime. I don't think that's a yeah. That's I don't terrible. and none of them have done anything that's kind of super even new, legal. like you guys have said. For sure. Like Martha Stewart, she was just a little brazen. This isn't even really so even, I don't really they think they haven't pointed anything out that's illegal. Everything about it. Man. Yeah, yeah. I th- selling information from Nike, like if, if everything. Nike, about if it. Nike ever pursues charges, it's a, yeah, it's that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just, it's in a, her. Saying currently in the court of law, no one has done in a Nike contract. I'm sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah and no, no, no. should not I, have. That's why she. What that's she why, why she resigned. That's why she resigned. Did not resign. They said we respect. Well, that's the whole. You, like you said, give you, you respect, explained it though. Give you respect. So you explained it. I never disagreed with you. Trash. Nike's trash. Pan is trash. Sun is trash. Really. Bro, did you see the pictures? Yeah, I did. Bro. I like. I love them. You're flex. telling. You're telling me. Like I didn't. Like I didn't know my son had All maybe a crib? thousand at minimum shoes the crib? on my deck. On the crib. On my deck. Maybe he's doing a science fair. My nigga, they were professionally stacked. Maybe Them shits were stacked science? at least twenty feet tall. Maybe he's doing a science fair project. Science fair, in my ass, bro. He's nineteen. He's out of. He's. He, I'm sure he maybe wasn't. Maybe freshman year. Freshman year of college. I'm sure, he's not in college, bro. Maybe. Nigga made a hundred racks in like two months. Like, hundred k a month on the Discord. Good profit, like but that's what I'm saying. The profit of the shoes was like you cool. A hundred k on information a month to the he Discord. Don't you don't, bro. You know how high up his mother was at Nike money. I do. He don't need it. He was probably doing this shit for fun, bro. Uh, I think power. Power. The access to stuff. Seventeen. You might have maybe thought about this. Maybe fifteen to sixteen. You don't think you're doing this for fun? You don't think? think, think, so you don't think, think so you don't think everyone having to come to you to get the newest that nigga could kicks? Be the, they wasn't already, part of it. You, they already. Fun. They're already coming yeah, to you fun. for the newest think, kicks think, because think, your mom works at Nike. I think. I think your idea of fun is just power, and I think that's why niggas like you should not get power <laughs> because you would just use it as like fun. For sure, I don't think I use that. You just said, bro. I think you did it for fun, bro. Do business with you. Do not. You just said a man making a hundred k a month was just doing it for fun, off of (laughs) off of selling (laughs) information. I gotta relax. Off of selling information, like no, we do business with you, James. Only people who do that are niggas who like power. For fun, bro. What are you talking about? All right, son. Power, bro. Yo, the nigga was basically the plug of all plugs for Nike. I don't know how much of the plug. In the northwestern part, of it the really United depends States of on. For me personally, obviously, I mean, people are gonna pay their dumb prices, but it really depends on how much you sell. Yeah, Oregon, shit Washington, but bro, he was. Th- but that's what I'm are you saying. selling your shit for? If you selling your shit for a good price, then maybe you're the plug. But if you're still but babbing out, but that's my thing. Selling 170 dollars shoes for right. three something. But that's something. what you're missing. I don't think you know you're the plug. That's what you're missing. Selling the rich people, you just it got it. Matter. Bro, yeah, for that's sure, what you you're missing. It. That the Over selling of the shoes is the most minuscule part to me. It is the information you sold for a hundred. I'm going to keep emphasizing. A hundred money is being made on pre-sales. That's what I'm saying. From trying, information, bro. this nigga might be doing his own private raffles. Why don't you like? He, he don't have to do was. anything. Exactly. Like, what, do, what are you talking about? I'm about saying, bro, it was so much. Of this shoe was retarded. It was like, so much fun like, for him. Like, bro, I'm making so much money before this fucking shoe come out. It don't even make sense. It was so much fun for him. You still got to pay retail. he went or and more. told somebody that this is what he's doing. Because like, he it didn't was have a to do flex. this. It was a yes. flex. Because that's fun for him, bro. Oh. What is a flex? You said, is there any sneaker heads in here? No it was fun power. for me to point over there and say all of this yes, shit. That's because fun. because a lot of people that's have more fun. shoes than you. So that's, that's not cute. Fun. That's fun. If you had tw- shoes tacked 20 feet up in the air, you'd be, you'd be trying to get people to see that. The same shoe. You'd be trying to get people to see that. Of the same shoe. Of the shoe. same shoe. You'd this be trying to get people to see that. I got like five pairs of one thing over there. Once again. That's cool. That's five. Exactly. Once again. There are levels of differences. We're talking about an inventory. The man literally was telling people, come look at me because he wasn't feeling like people knew. Cause I met y'all neck. Y'all know who y'all are. I send this clip to y'all. I met y'all neck. They know who they are. My bad. All I would say is that you call it fun. I call it a brazen amount of want for. I call it white attention. Is what I called it initially. I really this nigga made me sick. Um, fuck him. Fuck him. 
I don't even know his name, but fuck the Herbert. I got another question. Why? Why though? It's just shoes. It's not just shoes. It's the fact that he just got the access, and you see people. I don't know. I but mean, I don't have, know how. Um, I don't know the word I'm looking for. I don't know how many sneakerheads on your timeline though. Yeah, I see. I mean, the only reason I'm talking about it because the sneakerheads on the timeline. You see the people just always <laughs> mad between yeah, 10, yeah. 10 to 10 a.m. every f- day a shoe comes out. Yeah, people are upset, bro. So and you well, got this guy again, over here just easily release, getting these shit, bro. But that's my, but that's my point. My point is they're just shoes. That's why we're mad. They're just shoes. They're bro. just shoes, but we want them. And this guy, whatever Herbert is, just. But I'm saying, like, maybe kicking around. Well, maybe that's the issue here. The whole issue was that the mother is in charge of the app in itself. That's why people. But my thing about it is like, all right, so and like, the app is fucking everybody over. Like, was she in charge of the app or was she in no. charge of the acquisition? I'm saying in charge of the app for the whole, I believe, North America. I get, I get what you're saying. That's us. That, like, it's a That's power. why people are mad. Listen, I get why they're mad, but my thing is that, once again, just shoes. There are other <laughs> industries and other places where people's fathers or mothers or family members work in high-ranking positions, and they do fucked up shit that ends up maybe screwing all of us, and people's um, maybe um, attitude towards it isn't as strong as the lady whose son was still in the shoes. And I just, and not even still in like, technically Nike had no problem because he was bad. It was, the, it was, he's, they was using, he was using their car, technically. Sure, like, so, if, why so much anger towards basically corporate America capitalism that happens every day because of shoes? Like, I, I, that's the thing that I want the regular people to tell me, like, why shoes matter that much? People want to get their shoes at retail price. People don't want to pay three fifty, four hundred dollars. No, I, I no, get that. I I don't I'd rather that. buy my shoe at one hundred seventy dollars versus having to go back and pay whatever Ann Herbert's son name is well, three hundred some odd dollars, but I can get it on this app go ahead, go ahead well, for see, the retail price. No, no, I agree with you, but and that's I, the whole issue that everyone's mad about. I get there, but like because we're for, thinking that. The son has this fucked that whole like app up. And uh, so, like, my thing is that, like, <laughs> if you don't have, like if you don't, if you don't have a, sure. if you don't have a, let's say, but they upcharge us with AT&T if you don't have a, a, a phone company or something, and you try to buy this phone outright, it's gonna cost you like, let's say, fifteen, sometimes fifteen hundred, depending on, depending on what you get. So like, let's max out at like fifteen hundred. Let me say fifteen. So we'll max out at fifteen. That's how much it'll cost you. That's how much it will cost you. If someone buys this in bulk, let's say, you could probably get this phone for like probably like eight hundred dollars, like through a phone plan, you know, throughout all how the phone shit works. But if someone buys this in bulk, for example, and sells it to you on the street, we all know you're probably going to pay. You're gonna you're going to pay. You're gonna pay a different price, right? Than you would pay at the store if you bought this from someone who bought it in bulk, correct? For sure, a wholesaler is what Charles is saying. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna pay, you're gonna pay a certain price, right? You might pay an upcharge depending on like if you need it or not, right? So my thing is that. But we, would you rather buy it for the upcharge price? I get it. I'm not asking that. That's not what you're asking, but this is why the people are mad. But this is, the, but that's not how capitalism works. So At are all. they mad? It's not at about capital- capitalism. We're, we're no, mad. No, we're no, mad no, about no. this white man. No. This white kid no, doing this, bro. That's what I'm saying. No, it, it, we're it, taking it was back. It he, but, it, but I how love it. I love his it. mother, his mother got a job. The reason he's no, 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 no. Let me tell you. No, let me tell you. Let me tell you. His mother has a job. His mother has a job, right? Yes or no? Yes. His mother got a job. Not anymore. His mother had a job, correct? There you go. His mother went to her job and used money from her job. For sure. Allegedly. The son, the son, the son benefited she from her job. Shit. He did it. The son benefited from the she job, did that right? Shit. I know she did. The son benefited from the mother doing the thing at her job, right? For sure. And the son used it. It's called nepotism. Mm-hmm. So, like, um, let's say someone's father works at Apple, and he's like, "Hey, you want all this Apple product to go sell in your tech store?" And somebody's like, "Hey, I can't." I, I wish I could get an iPhone at a cheaper rate. A and, bunch of refurbished products. Uh, you know, like that. it's not even. Everyone's like, like I want to get it at a cheaper rate. Brand new. People would be mad, yeah, right? Yeah, jail. but it'd be part of the game. You'd be like, that's kind of how it's fucked up that they did that. But like, I get people not being upset, but I'm saying they're just shoes. <laughs> like, I get people are mad. I don't. I don't think they're mad. It's probably it's, not even the same. But unless you want to change capitalism, then like this is just real sneakerhead. This is part Let's of capitalism, right? Like someone got over. We could talk about it. Someone finessed the system. 
<laughs> That's why I said I'm not a sneakerhead. What are you going to talk about? No, I'm Y'all talking saying. about quality shoes. I'm just talking about people being finesse. I'm just saying. Like, and I don't you, see why. You getting mad about people being finesse, but you like. Yeah, I just don't understand why, why shoe people what it should think be. that. Like, Why don't even be 170? They should be able to get things at a certain retail. If you aren't able to get it at retail, what do you do? You buy an upcharge. That's kind of how it works for anything in life. I'm not getting a retail I'm not buying. That's fine. But that's a but, up. but that's a that's a consumer. Like this is the beauty of capitalism, right? Straight the consumer up. makes the decision. Sure. So But if you can't find it at retail, then what do you do? You don't get the shoe, right? According to what about well, it. Well, if you're me, you're not going to do it. But if you're an idiot, you're going to go to Ann Herbert's son and pay $400 for so, a shoe that costs So that's how it works. Unless, unless there was a law that... that you're buying it from Ann Herbert's unless, son. It don't depending matter. on where, what it site you get it from. As long... Here's my thing. As long as capitalism doesn't and say it's wrong to issue. resell... Because how many, how many shoes was she actually getting off directly from her son off of these apps? That's what you should be angry about. Because other shoe distributors that might not be getting the sales that they should be getting, but he getting all the sales. Sneaker game fucked up, bro. I've said. But that that's my whole point. Me. All but these, mad about all these industries are. Oh, no, I'm just, just mad Charles about this said. is the story at this point. Like I said, this will be forgotten, and like I, I forgot no, about it until this nigga brought it up. But my, been but my point was, I was that mad I saw, about this three days ago. Yeah, no, no. My only point was that I saw so much anger over shoes and, they found, and I found it interesting that like I saw it I was like okay it's anger but then again I thought this shit happened like three years PSG ago forms. and it's probably gonna happen again so it's like whatever bro like, that's what I'm saying people, big were, corporations, people bro, were literally doing, doing this shit. a couple of months earlier with PlayStation that's, that's what I'm and saying and that's what I was gonna bring up niggas talking about you know you and buying Xboxes. a fucking yeah you buying an iPhone and shit niggas is buying the PlayStation Xbox $400 well, selling I was thinking for about like when the iPhones first came 13. out and niggas was doing niggas that niggas selling PS5 was like nine hundred, yeah. ten, eleven hundred dollars bro and people were mad and all that stuff was that. like why are you mad just don't buy it we pay here's my thing the only reason why you guys are, are acting like this and I promise you everyone's gonna hate me is because of Amazon you mm-hmm. guys believe that you guys should be able to pay for some certain things at certain rates and get them very quickly and that's not how capitalism has ever worked Amazon really fucked up the game for sure I think my last point would just be as far as the shoes go is that I'm not telling people that they shouldn't care about, you know, getting sure. their shoes at the retail price that they want. You're a consumer. You have your rights. and you As you a consumer, you, you know should, but unless you're going to try to, like, get laws made in which price gouging, because that's all this is, people upmarking something. But we don't want to get too political for you. Upmarking stuff. We don't want to get too political. Unless you're going to do that, I don't understand why getting mad at these really one-off situations. Like, this is a one-off. Once every, like, Three, five years. You know, this is a one-off situation. Oh, one person at the company now got caught. Once and in I a see, generation. And I also see people defending, like, the resale industry. So For you're sure. not really upset at the resale industry. You're mad at the fact that someone got over. And I just don't... That doesn't really connect with I have me. two questions. First, I'll yeah. start by the latter of my questions. Who the hell did you see defending the retail industry? I've seen multiple people, people defending were like, the retail When people industry. were saying that this is basically that's GOAT crazy. and stock X, people were like, well, that's not, a, that's a business. For and sure. I was just like, okay, so you, so you, you actually, understand. so you actually understand the, what's the, clumsy what's going, going on. on. You don't, you're just upset that you feel as though the, the proper, ch- this is the thing about a lot of people. In capitalism, they don't really dislike capitalism. They just don't like when it goes through the proper channels. Mm-hmm. So let's say this kid's thing was, uh, Nike license or authentic, whatever, I promise you we don't have no issue here. But because he was rogue, and people have issues. People have issues. That's that's ultimately what this has become. People being mad that this doesn't look the way they believe it should look. And that's my issue. They're just shoes. And to me, it looks fine. They're just shoes to me. So, like, if someone's being corrupt selling shoes... What's something you really like to buy? Ooh. Weed. Weed. Okay. Yeah. So, hypothetically. They're doing it right now. They, I'm going to say, we literally go through. So how do you feel about it. this? We go through. It's part of the game. It's like, part of the game. this is the thing about. So, I think that's what this is at the end of the day. Like, yeah, it was part of the play. game. But that's what, but that's what I'm saying. I'm sure. <laughs> Me and Charles. Like, if I wanted on, lesser yeah. weed, Hold I would on. go get lesser weed. For sure. Hold on. Okay. Like I said, I was mad about I this shit. I got two different qualities of weed. Why I was mad about this shit for a day, right? You're saying this shit happens all the time for you guys, right? Are you not mad at it for maybe a day and then it's like, all right, fuck no. it after that shit happens? But no, you're right. No, no, I get so it. So that's but what the hell this situation is. It's over with. But that's the thing, like, okay. I'm never going to the industry is fucked up. All industries and in capitalism are fucked up. For sure. But saying. it's not on me to try to like, at least in my mind, 
For because me, it's, it's one thing to be upset, shit. and it's up to me to be like talking about like a revolution within. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me ask you this. The industry. Let me ask you this. How I said, if I don't buy my shoe at retail price, mm-hmm. I'm uh-huh. not going to buy it for whatever yeah. amount of dollars. Yeah. 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 Y'all not going to get, yes, let's say your KD there's, there's, there's or whatever there's dollar there's you want to buy at it. Ticket, just, yeah, like, and yeah, you yeah, tell I'm me 80, 80. So we're at this. This is exact. But we're consumers. But once again, we're good. As consumers, these are decisions we're allowed to make. And we I just know don't. When to so make I'm just letting you know that mm-hmm. we were the sneaker industry was very <laughs> mad initially, and but you know. But the difference between weed and shoes is is one will last way longer than the other. Absolutely. So which one is a better investment at that point? Shoes. So, so nigga, you so now you're telling me that a nigga that's mad about shoes should be way more upset about a fucking shoe price than somebody should be about a weed price. For sure. Because it lasts longer. I'd argue that once again, they're just shoes. They're just and, this shoes. Is, and this is the thing and about. I can say it's just weed. weed. And well, we say that to each other. But, but this is the issue here, though. <laughs> the idea of weed, like you said, like you guys are talking about a very specific yes. type of shoe. Shoes come in all. Sh- we weren't talking about a specific shoe. We're talking about a specific person in a situation with the guy that had. No, let's say, we're, let's we're, say this guy had a lot of Nikes, different strands. For sure. Let's say <laughs> Nike weed. But the difference What's is though. Nike but this, but exactly, that's the thing. About I don't know, this, my nigga. Like Nike, bro. I would just argue that's nah, why your bro. argument is fundamentally off because sure. can't, can't something like that. weed can't let you get that off. There's so I would just many argue. Different strands I would just. Argue, there's so many different types, types of Nikes. Nikes. No, no. Sure. But, but I can't let you get that off. The argument I would make is that the product is completely different. One is a service, like you're using weed to get you somewhere. For sure. One is a function of life. You One use is a shoes. Product. You use shoes to walk around, like literally, so that we are our feet are not on the ground. You don't have to do that. You don't have to buy the Nikes. You don't have to use weeds to do whatever you're trying to do. That's my whole point. What, none That's of these things think, are actually I think essential. A, I think. All right then. In theory. So in I think. Theory. I, in theory. So in theory. In theory, not you essential. Shoes. You do not need Nike shoes. You don't. You could get weed. You do you not have to need, get the highest. That's of, what I'm saying. So, exactly. So once again. People use weed for mental things, whatever. You, I can actually use shoes for mental things, bro. Okay. You might put on your shoes. Now, 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 we got it. Bro, if I, if I put on a, oh, please, you can't say that, bro. If I put on a pair of fucking Skechers, okay, will I feel the same as how when I'm in a pair of Nike? I'm not talking about that. That's oh, me for saying you, oh, for you. if you're smoking, oh, no, 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 if you're you. smoking a J of Reggie, you're not gonna feel the same way you smoke if you smoke some gas, right? Maybe I don't know. Some people be into okay. that shit. Some people, but no, no, you're right. For you, I thought we were talking about in general. So this is general. This is in general, bro. No, it's, well then I then I like have to Nike disagree. is not. Ah, uh, you can't disagree, bro. You can't. If you ask, if we take actually, you're right. You a, might be a right. general American motherfucker might <laughs> like it's Reggie, bro, and the motherfucker might like his sketches. A, a, a motherfucker might just like something that's not. But everybody that's has their preference, bro. And that's all Your I'm preference saying. Preference is gas. Some sneakers head preference is. But that's the thing Nike, about bro. the. That's the thing about this Nike idea of gas? a preference and of not my gas. preference of gas. Nike's like, weed. Nike's not gas. Nike's not gas. Nike is weed. I don't even know. I don't even see. That's what I'm saying. I, I just don't think. So I, Nike's I don't not think it's an app comparison. I just Nike's don't think it's not the I just don't think it's weed. I just don't think it's an app comparison. So what's the czar in the shoe game? Nike is weed. Reggie, mid, gas. I don't even know what weed is called these days, obviously. There's layers to it. There's layers to it. I can get a fucking bum-ass pair of Nikes, yes. the Monarchs or some shit. That's the thing. We're not That's Reggie, but bro. See, but see, I'm buying some Yeezys, some Yeezy 2s from back when he was doing that. That's the fucking Zop. Okay, okay, all right. Can, can I, can I, can I so apologize? So Nike is weed, bro. Can I apologize? But my you, perspective I was, is totally I, I was different. wrong. You, you are kind of right because... This idea of the weed. Are not this idea of that's weed what, that's, that's and where, shoes. Where it's, I, where, it's not designed. This it's idea not of weed and shoes. All right, that's, that's where I got Please you. you, and that's where you got me. Monarchs that there are levels to it's it. Levels, bro. But once again, you gotta relax. One, Monarchs you got. Me. Listen, I don't listen. You guys I'm can. I'm about to say you guys can design. Which shoes? I'm thinking Batman on the Monarch, bro. That's that maga talking. But see, that's the maga shoe, my nigga. What do you mean, bro? But this is another thing, like the idea. Is it's so much more. Sub- see what I'm saying? Like you're sh- very subjective. It's bro. so much more subjective. Weed is a science. Like whether you like it or not, there are th- there are THCs to it. This has 24. Now, how they make you feel is where you. I think you got me with the but shoes the same, because they can ever make everybody feel. I can put different. on a pair of shoes. I'm like, damn. Exactly. These shits is crazy right they now. They make you feel good. Our photographer but, has Ricardo t right on now. right now. Listen, bro. you you made that very I'm clear. Sure, he feels really in. good right now. But that only matters. I don't feel that good. 
All that matters is that that's the greatness, whole point. Man. But it has to be He's smiling right That's now. the thing. Is. Like a certain a certain <laughs> a certain uh, strain of za would that's only matter to someone who actually likes we. So once again, I just want to know. Shoes don't matter. Just in my opinion, they're just fucking shoes. If you said to me, gas don't matter. To that's me. what I'm saying. Would so you like, smoke in how long? Well, I don't even care about that. Like the idea that it doesn't matter. That's me being saying. When's the last when time you, you bought some Nikes or some shit? Whenever. But like the whole point is recently. that like if you say it doesn't <laughs> matter, <laughs> you got recently. you say that, and then people are like, yeah. okay, I like my gas. Uh, when someone says it's just shoes, like shoes why bro. do niggas begin like they act like it's, it's not just it's shoes, a, bro? You see what I'm saying? It's, it's not, not just shoes. It is just shoes. It's not just shoes. It is just shoes. I can say that, like you said. It's not. It's, it's just gas. It is just gas. Like, th- there's nothing that, like, whether you, whether I like, whether I like gas a lot or not, doesn't change the fact that it's just weed. They're just shoes. Like, <laughs> like that's the thing Me about. Me like, know the quality of weed that we would like to smoke. Uh, there's like, Literally. for example, purses. They're just purses. Are there purses that are nicer than other? For sure. For sure. But at the end of the day, it's just, it's a, just purse. a purse. Like, like no matter how you try to justify Some it, motherfucker got the same function it's, it's as still, the it, other it's one. It's got the same function as the, so like weed. This is facts. It's still weed. It's supposed to get you. Will some get you more high? Will some make you feel? Yes. But the function? It's just the same function. But the whole killer about weed is like Charles said, scientific. Also, it's a service. You do it like it's like alcohol. You can buy cheap ass. Shout out my boy Jake. My boy Jake loves the baker's uh baker's head. Loves the fucking twelve dollar gins. We were there. Loves the fucking ten dollar vodka. I ain't gonna lie, that shit did not crush me. Shouldn't have drove that day. And that shit. Drove from Philly it, to Maryland. That shit will fuck you up. Should that shit was like that. an hour and a half. You know what else will fuck you this up? This nigga said gin and fucking Gatorade. This shit. But this shit does it differently. For sure. Than lights. the other shit. They not paying us. So I'm just saying. Like, so you know what other shit we do. Can get, we can do some free plugs. When certain shit happens a certain way, you have to acknowledge it. So like whether someone wears some bum ass Nikes or some fly ass Nikes, they're still not. Like the function isn't going to change. There's there's an actual scientific proof to point that like if you drink good liquor versus bad liquor, yes. the functions can change. You can actually get you can actually get more fucked up. You can actually hurt like these are actual. So I just think that would be my only cap. I agree with you. Like you really changed my at a good point. Like you're right. The weed is a b- more apt comparison than I wanted to give you at the beginning. But I definitely think because thank you of the function of it, <laughs> it, it it's slightly it's just slightly different. Thank you. That would just be my only understood my only thing. Um, shrooms. So, okay, niggas getting delivered the filet in the joint. You ain't gonna show them the filet? Nah. Okay. They seen it. They seen it. They ain't paying us. Uh, shrooms. <laughs> they ain't paying us. Psychedelics are the new hot shit. Shout out to Oregon. Are they the one who legalized all the yeah, drugs? Every, yeah, every drug. And I want to know. Shout out to the H. <laughs> and I want to know. Nice. Are we going to. Are we going. <laughs> Are we going to, because we, we did the whole joint when we talked about um, H, but are we going to over-glorify drugs that don't need to be over-glorified? What do you mean? What drugs don't need to be over-glorified? So, I don't think shrooms, not that it's being over-glorified, but I don't think it needs to be something that people do celebrate, do casually. I, I don't have a problem with people doing weed casually. If that makes sense. I have a problem with people doing... No, I feel you. Hallucinogenics is not something that you should really just be playing with. And I also feel as though, like, there has to be some... And people don't necessarily know the breakdown of the shroom itself, like how the I, mushroom works. I would be lying to you if I told you I knew all the functions, but I would also the say... The reason I know is because Udron just, like, explained to us, like, the bulb is for the... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the part where... And then the stem Ooh. is for the high. Like, just the actual high mm. of the drug. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the bulb of it. No, like I feel people, what you're saying. Because people be microdosing. Yes, yes, And then yes. they put it in pills. Yes. But yes. you don't know what the fuck is in that pill. Yeah, I'm more of a, that's too much science for me, so just eat that bitch all at once. Exactly. But that's the type of shit me and Charles For me, be. personally, though, wow. You went suggest it because you might throw up. I can't speak for anybody. I'm speaking don't for do, me. Don't do what I, don't do anything unless you You prepared. might throw up if you did it that way. I just think that certain things need to be uh, regulated. <laughs> well, yeah, gatekeeping. <laughs> yeah. for, for lack of better words. But I think the only reason why is because, like, if you drink a lot of alcohol, uh-huh. you can have somebody to always be like, Hey, bro, chill out. You've had four shots. For sure. That's too many. Four shots in 20 minutes. Or you're drinking way too many of those. Yes. Let's cut down. Hey, brother, we mixing. 
the way hallucinogenics, psychoactive sort of drugs work, psychoreactive drugs work That's is totally different. Depend like it could be just the wrong batch, the wrong strand, the yeah, wrong day, sure. the wrong look at the sky. For sure. And things go completely off. Yeah. Now, not to mention your own chemical imbalance. What's going on with your body? You know what I'm saying? Or your own chemical makeup and shit like that. So I think it's very, you got to be very uh, delicate with how we say who's allowed. And that's the only reason why. I think also, if you're going to do it, it's kind of like crack cocaine. Like you have to be <laughs> able to accept the, the fact that shit could, get, shit could get real. Like if you have a bad trip. And that shit fuck up your life. Hey, yo. Like what? And you go make a bad How decision. I'm just saying, like this is the thing about drugs. I, crack. We we haven't what? we we haven't studied enough drugs in the like the public recreational discourse for people for me to feel for me to class, think that huh? people are yeah it's really over for for me to feel that I think that people are comfortable with doing it and doing it on their own. Like I just I just don't know if people maybe some crack. No, no, more so soon, but I'm shrooms. saying like a bad trip can lead you on the same sort of destruction that like doing crack cocaine. Okay. Before I left, it seemed like you were saying you know you're good off the shrooms. No, no, I like the shrooms, but we love but shrooms. me personally, like we I feel will. as you're though you're done with it. You don't think it can do anything for you? We love shrooms. No, no, I can, I but my thing is that I feel as though if I've done enough of it over time. time yes, yeah, for sure. That I could keep doing it and understand. I feel as though people were were introducing it in like. The first time I did shrooms, like it was mad illegal. Okay. Like, there I was, was about to say, you know what I'm saying? I was going to break it down this way. Well, that's what I'm saying. The way that it's means... Less, it's less illegal. Like, how weed used to be really illegal, yeah. and they, it's less illegal, it's kind of the way shrooms are. Like, shrooms, shrooms are just, being introduced uh, now is kind of like how mental health was being introduced. Yeah, yeah. he's going to have to take that on. Yeah, uh, in sense. In what sense? Yeah, so. Because people are using it, talking about microdose and reset your brain. And use it for like all of these different medicinal reasons. You say microdosing, you're talking about the people that got them in like the um, the two, mm-hmm. yes, capsules the capsules, shit. yes. So they're just doing it that way now, they're not taking the whole the way me and Charles, the way you see me and Charles do it. I mean, I can't recall if I've seen anything like this. No, but you can, you can be honest, <laughs> <Niggas> <laughs> <taste> <laughs> <wrong>. <laughs> yeah, but yes, like the that. capsulized. Shrooms is what niggas are doing these days, what they call microdose. And instead of like, because me and Charles, like we've done it in chocolate bars and then we've done them in just regular raw dog mushrooms, like fresh out the ground in a, in a paper bag. You know what I'm saying? Right. Came in the same bag as our weed for real. Got a party pack. <laughs> That's a different story. They might be today. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, yeah. but no, nah, like the way What's that microdosing them up. Microdosing is just like, all right, so. You know, the capsules like you gotta be touching. Every but they do it for like, like hours or some shit like that for a month. Oh, nice. They take it. I believe it's like for a month. You do it. You're on it for four days and off it three, or you're on it three and off four. Hmm. And so for a month, you're like, you're doing that. And then it's supposed to like reset your brain chemistry and all that other shit. I haven't read into it. I don't know nothing about it. I've heard about it and things like that. But other than that, it's just like, I can't call it. But you know what I'm saying? So that's why I was like, it's being introduced the same way like the mental health thing is. just like, they're trying to like bring it in. So like uh, usher it in and like try to make it like something normal when and like a medicine when mental health and things like that is actually something that's medicinal mm-hmm. and things that people should practice. And then like taking shrooms, it's like you should be very careful because like when you get encapsulized shrooms from a third party or individual party, you don't know what you're getting. Cause like we said earlier, the bulb is for the hallucinogenic and the stem is for just the high. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like you never know what you're and then your individual body chemistry and body makeup, something we don't talk about or discuss enough in any scientific community from my knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like that's that's where we were just talking about though. Gotcha. I'm here with you. Okay. But they're not walking on crack. So oh no, because like Charles brought up crack because it's just like Charles can take off from that. No, point. I was just saying as, <laughs> as far as shrooms go, yeah. people, I don't think people have enough in the public discourse recreationally mm-hmm. to know how to take it. 
And if you have a bad trip, like if you do crack cocaine one time, that shit could fuck you up. For sure. If you have a bad trip. You're on crack forever. If you have a bad trip. That shit could really, like, I've heard people say, like, their motor skills and functions, like, after a bad trip, they can't do certain things, like... That shit is like, this, was, again, it's a psycho-reactive thing. So, like, people go in psychosis. Like, that's what people have said has happened doing some of these drugs. Now, I think, once again, like, you can get, you can become an alcoholic and get liquor poison, you know, liver poison food. Those are some of them, I guess, like, what you would say is, like, some of those same things that happen, blah, blah, blah. But there's an infrastructure to help people. So, like, if you get sick early, we can kind of, like, identify, hey, this you got a drinking problem. For sure. Let's kind of get you off so you don't have that no more. I don't think as a society we have those structures. So if you make it just like, hey, everyone go do shrooms now. Yeah. You're leaving a lot of people yeah. to be like, all right, I'm going to try this. Yeah. Get fucked up and not have any sort of like. Niggas might take that psychiatric trip and never come back. Because the thing about like smoking weed, like no matter what people try to tell you, like a high isn't like no like. I'm seeing stars and For moons sure. and, like I'm not and colors and I'm feeling I'm out of my, my body. I'm still in my reality. Like yeah. none of that 5D and all that yeah. other shit that these astrologers. To be honest, a lot of those girls, about. like they're not gonna tell like, you they they're doing drugs. Shit. Like yeah, that's the sure. that's the truth. Like a lot of them are doing drugs. Like true. I'm just hey, saying. we didn't just, we didn't listen, hey, your words. I'm brother. not gonna lie to you. The so only true. time I really like I wanna say felt like Acid was like the one time I felt out of body, but the one time I was really like, I could sit with my thoughts. Like my thoughts, like if I could maybe was be on like shrooms. outside of my brain and my, you know, like I actually was on shrooms. For like, sure. So I definitely see yeah, our like, initial business. Bu- our initial business plan was written on shrooms. Beautiful. I think there's there's <laughs> certain there's a certain Man. truth to like that John Woods, the like things that can right. happen yeah. when the mind taps into those type of things. But I just don't know if it's okay to just like sometimes stuff being illegal is okay. For sure, <laughs> I kind of feel that way. Like, you know, I think cocaine sometimes, should be illegal. sometimes it's okay. I have something that I just came up to talk to my friend right now, so I'm gonna let you have it. Throw about mm-hmm. certain things being legal. Yeah, I can't. What? Well, like I think like prostitution. Like if prostitution was legal, I feel like that should be legal. There would be a lot. There would be a lot better behavior. For sure. Because first of all, how many niggas pay for things in private that are shunned upon? I would just think men would be less scared to do certain like certain activity. activities. Also, they would be more willing to not have to harm women because of certain there, activities. There is a legal and you know a fair way in which they can get their their, activities. their, their shits off their rocks off basically I don't, um, I don't know if you can do that you can say that for other things I would argue um, just by saying at one point right we were just <laughs> the hazy thoughts were just like you know this is us uh, we were just fighting against the people that were mad about us being the high guy right mm-hmm. because it was legal at that point yeah so if you're saying everything should be legal, that takes the fun out of everything at that point. Nothing really. To an extent, I think that you're right. I think I think doing things that aren't and doing things that can get you you're in trouble. In no, trouble no, there's for sure definitely heightened there's, the yeah, sense yeah. of like for sure. There's a there's a certain oh, level. but we could be the high guys talking about politics that get us in trouble. Yeah, I want one. So I think yeah. But again, like doing Please. things illegally has always been like yeah throughout history. So. Fun. I, no, no, I don't think you're right. I don't think you're wrong on that on wrong that either. point. But I think we're talking. About, I'm thinking. I'm thinking about the safety it's somewhere. Pass the pass the plate, bro. Pass the plate. I'm, I'm thinking about the safety. Shout out to Foley Cook. Foley, Foley Cook. Cook. Check that out on Instagram. Um, I think I think that's more so <laughs> just like a function of society. Like we want we want more peace. So like, so you can't say women, you know, no, no, but, pay for a but I would I would take you. away the idea of fun so that. Both men and women could be feel a little bit more safer in their sexual activity. For sure. Like I, I think that that's, that's a trade off. Reason why I feel like people should be. I feel like that's a trade off I could make. Because if you legalize a lot of drugs, how many times are like police might be like going into certain ways, certain situations? I think we should just look at the numbers. Ninety four percent of police work is non. 
violent or For non sure. um whatever they saw, like yeah. what they call like it's not, action. There's no it's a, it's actual. Not, it's not active duty. Uh, yeah, action. non active you know calls. So like most like of them are res- drug calls. They're not responding evictions, to anything. Evictions. Like they're domestic going, disturbances. They're going to do a civic duty for domestic something. disturbances. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not doing much. Patrolling for sure. property damage. So if I legal like that's what that's why I if felt this thing when they legalize this shit because I was just like, bro, that cuts out a lot of the, the lot of the crime calls. Like that means less people getting bothered or being killed for just doing drugs. Me watching the wire, season three, where my man legalizes drugs in the Amsterdam in the ward. Son. And it's just like in theory, what the fuck? Like why legalize drugs? But at the same but time. The rest of the neighborhood, the corners were fine. <laughs> the dudes, there was less killing actually in the zone there where is. the drugs is going on. And who gets harmed? Cause if something is illegal, bro, something's gonna so people are gonna fight for territory. Property, you possession. create an underworld. Put you, it like that. For sure. You create an underworld. With like you, if you make something illegal, you, you create, create an underworld. underworld. And then at a certain point, whoever's at the that's top of fine. saying underworld makes Listen, the most money. Listen, that's what money. I'm trying to tell you. And it, your it power, it, your but, power trip is going to be very scary be, if you ever get it. But it because you're just going to be having fun. You're just going to be doing shit. You do is you're not even going to be doing shit. You become a. You become a. This is going to be fucking high power a few times, bro. You shot me down. Son, you make a different type of capital. Tell me at an event. Niggas know. Yeah, I did that. Niggas know. Niggas know. Niggas know. Niggas know. You got to let me keep building, bro. No. Fuck wrong with y'all, bro. Niggas We are good when we're in my hands. Niggas know. Niggas know. Are you sure? Niggas know. Niggas know. Lie on camera and say we not. I can say two. Lie on camera and say we not. Four times. Listen, you're funny. I'm at it. Two out of four? You are the most fireable nigga. <laughs> it's like, nah, go ahead. All right, all right, I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Please. <laughs> what a word. What I'm just drinking before we hit, bro. I've been looking at you all night. I just want to ask that. Man. All right, all right, all right. Look, uh, the, the place Have we cute. talked about our drink of choices lately? No. But okay. Let's, 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 let's talk. We've been talking about drugs and shit. My that. drinks look cute. My first two I've seen look a cute. cucumber like wrapped around a cup. <laughs> I ain't never seen <laughs> Hey, hey Snap, there's no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking a jab. I'm just asking. You oh, no, 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 I'm just friend. saying. That was, but, uh, all right, so the first joint was a Pisco Punch. That was the joint with the flower in it. Yeah. The second one was <laughs> yeah. a cucumber. But that joint had white brandy in it. Out here from, out here from Peru. Video. You know what I'm saying? like to put pictures up in the video. And then, Charles. The <laughs> second joint oh, was. Something with a cucumber in that motherfucker. It was a pickle, one of the two. It was That's called a. Crap. It was called an eighteen ninety nine. And then the shot came. It wasn't a shot. It was a double. And then you pulled up with the red eyes. I said, "My nigga, just drank." <laughs> that was a double. I'm at the ass. And that motherfucker was seventeen years old. Uh, Japanese whiskey, small batch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wasn't trying to hurt him too much. You did either. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's why I was just like, I don't be talking. Like, every time I be talking about what I be drinking when I go out and drink, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, <laughs> my nigga said, I'm going to my whiskey bar. This nigga ain't said that in a couple months. My yeah, nigga. So I knew you know what I'm saying? I almost asked you if so, I could join. I, was, I felt like you going to be like, up. nah. Pull up. Yeah. I took Foley with me. <laughs> me and Foley was out all day, Slim. Uh, I'll go Foley with me. Pull up. We can go. We want to go. I'm off next Friday. I get paid next Friday. Let's do it. I'll be free by you, Slim. Let's do it. They close at 10. I'll meet wear, you there. You wear masks? Once we get seated, no. Nah. <laughs> but we by ourselves, though. They section us off. Son, my shit vicious, champ. I don't, know, I don't even know what you're talking about. You want me to reserve the bubble? What's the name of the spot? I ain't doing all that. All right, we can't tell the people what's the name of the spot. Because they ain't paying me. Understood. If I ain't getting paid, I ain't doing it. Oh, we supposed to be done? My bad. Go ahead. <laughs> so we know about the bar, which we're not about to get told about. But what's your drink of choice, The next young? whiskey bar is the name. What's my drink of choice? What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your, okay. They ain't paying us. That's all I drink these days. You're welcome. Shout out to you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> nah, I stopped drinking Hennessy. Okay. I had a kid. <laughs> so I stopped drinking Hennessy. Okay. 
Okay. They do say man is expensive. <laughs> nah, you ain't gotta walk off on that. Nah, I'm just saying, bro. I used to drink the do say before this, bro. But yeah, I couldn't pay the sixty dollars for a fifth no more. Okay. So it's just like, man, let me just you guys, you see. You want to keep drinking yeah, Ducey, Remy, don't have no kids, yeah, as no you kids, can see. Bro, if you want to have some. You want to keep drinking Ducey, don't have no kids. Let this be a reminder to you. Oh boy, everybody out there. Bro. Nigga went from Ducey to Remy Ma and said, here, bro. Also, nigga. Yo, somebody you told me. Liar. Somebody told me I was wilding when I said that. You are also, wilding. Also, like, I thought Remy was. Nah. No, 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 no. Also, no, this see. nigga said he's the richest nigga he knows. Like, so, I am like, the richest nigga I know. Make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense. Make it make sense. I guarantee I'm the richest nigga. I guarantee you that Remy Mom bought it cost more than that class maze. But make it make sense. That's, that's all I'm saying. How much that bought Remy sense. cost? How much the class cost? How much make Remy cost? That's a fucking pint, my nigga. That ain't nothing. Hey, that's what I'm saying. How much the class cost? <laughs> <laughs> I am the rich one. This is my drink of choice personally, the Knob Creek. Who, and Charles has never been to the South. Please ask him who yeah, made him South drink that the first time he ever drank it. Oh, uh, yeah, you. Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah. But this is my drink of choice, personally. I don't really Charles don't even be in the South. Charles, you're yeah. welcome. I don't. What what business do I have in the I'm South? I'm a liquor connoisseur. I have no business in the South, <laughs> at all. But this this shit is that that fire. That fire. Guys, I'll drink whatever you want to give me. Just I'll drink anything but white liquor. I drink anything but white liquor. I drink white too. Shout out to also, Let's fly South. Coop. Let's fly mm-hmm. south, Coop. Gin is the albino of white li- li- I, liquor. Yo. <laughs> That's my thing. That's my thing. I told myself uh, after a couple weekends ago, bro, I don't think I can drink gin anymore. Oh, fine. I grew up on gin. You came around. But the last couple of times I had gin, like, I've had bad. unmemorable oh. nights. Unmemorable? Unmemorable nights. Memorable or just bad memories? Unmemorable oh, nights. Oh, on you. Well, they're I, mem- I, I, they were memorable for us, but they were unmemorable for you. I do not remember what no, happened. No, I get it. Unmemorable for you. So I memorable said, for us. I told myself. That's what I'm saying. Memorable for us. Unmemorable for you. I told myself I can't drink gin anymore. I respect it. So we I'm have done. to grow up sometimes. That was my that's my um spring summer drink. I can't do it. No more Tangeray? Wow. Uh, it's more so the Hendrix. That was me. Go to the club, Hendrix and you know, back then Hendrix and uh what is it? Club soda, whatever it is. Hendrix and, and tonic. tonic. I'm about to say club soda. soda. It's nasty, nasty, nigga. But you know, you're nasty. Splash of grenadine and shit. Mm, wow. I like you're that. Really Can't nasty. do it no more. I'm done. You're Once the streets back open and the happy hours here, don't ask me to get a Hendrix and tonic with you guys, man. I got nothing. For I like you. when you're talking to somebody. Talking to people that I work with, you know, happy hours. Let me go. Cause you were talking you about somebody like, like they know your drink. I'm talking. to Yo, if you've been out with me on some happy hour shit, you know I'm getting a Hendrix tonic. Let's right talk about happy hours. Years. Do you think happy hours are ever going to be the same? Happy hour will be the same. Mm. I think it's kind of the same now. Like, mm. Niggas are living foul lives right now. For sure. I have not been outside to experience this. I can stand. My man was just at a bar. Um, no, prior, I wasn't nasty at the bar, though. Prior to that, nigga, you had some Jasper's times. Um, yeah. So. Jasper's bar wasn't open then. I think they're open now, though. That's what I'm saying, bro. Um, I think currently working with Virginia. Even prior to it's all nasty. this um, vaccine shit, I've been saying 2022 is going to be the year where everything's back to normal. But uh, shit looks like it's ramping up. Oh, yeah, I told, they're aiming for summer. I told people um, 2022, and also told people the world's about to be open. They just laughed at me, and I was just like, "Who laughed at you?" This is a group take. It's okay. Like me, you, and Miles or some shit. No way. I've been I've been standing the world's going to be on my phone the last two weeks. It wasn't you. Oh, okay. I was about to say, because I've been kind of on your way. It then, might like, not have been Miles, but I know I was just like, yeah. It's in that group text. That's, I'm not in that. I'm just like, bro. I ain't laughing at that. It was some politic talk going on yet again, and I was just like, <laughs> yeah, nigga, the world about to be open. And he was like, nah, it's not. Da, da, da. I'm like, right. Well, if you said it in November, after it like, wasn't November, Biden, I'm sure it was 2021. Like, I'm sure it was And I was definitely like, you guys are big cap. Because mm. we in March and we just now opened up, and he been here for like two months. So like, <laughs> it didn't work like that. Can trash. we talk about that? Yeah, if, you want, if you want to, the uh, only time we're talking about politics now is if you bring it up. No, we're not. We're I, 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 you, oh, I, I, listen, trust me, man. Listen, trust me. Trust me. Listen, I'm refraining. If you just, just uh, on that last episode that we just dropped, then yeah, for sure we can just keep it at you know only me bringing it up, but. We definitely recorded an episode a day after, and I was just like, bro, can we get your shit off, bro? 
It's mad lit. They didn't care too much. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. We're we'll talking about we politics. Way more but get your, get your, but get your, also, what's your, like, what's your shit? What's my your, shit is just shit? like, man, I've said it all the time. Politics are all the same, bro. No, but like what's what your expect, actual politics thing now? That My thing is, people expect to change, bro. Niggas, like, like you said, like, I said this shit maybe November, December. Mm-hmm. It's like Biden. It's March now. Nothing happened. Mm-hmm. This just goes back to me saying that all politicians are the same, bro. Yeah, no. I, tweet, I didn't expect much. You know what I'm saying? Like, respect. I tweeted the other day that uh, Kamala, um, I was sick. That's your girl. I, I was disappointed in my girl. girl. I was riding for her. I mean, she and, she's nowhere, and she's nowhere to be found. Yeah, I mean, that's her, literally her what job. What else would she her do? Job, she has no... Literally, like, literally, that oh, is her job. That is her, her job. job. That is literally her job. I'm trying to give her a chill. If she, you know if she didn't do that, it'd Bro, be like, it's oh, like, what are you I'd doing? Do, it'd be like, <laughs> what are you doing? Ugh, like, oh, my God. She has three oh. stepchildren. That's right. I don't got nothing relax, for her. Relax, relax. Calm down. Calm down. Why are you cursing, She's your black savior, though. I don't got nothing for her, You're a black savior. First of all, never my black savior. You want to square up? That was that was she was <laughs> she was to be fired. somebody's she was, like she savior. was my she was I'm my not talking to you okay you she ain't was, had a twit car oh no 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 she, first of all you ain't had my a twit black saver I have Charlene Mitchell as my as my twit car now she wasn't your twit car at one point I, I have Charlene Mitchell and none at of y'all one point let's and none of y'all care about her or no, know who I her is no humans such so you be dropping it what you do every two weeks is when you no, rotate that was for Black History Month but Charlene Mitchell is staying for the rest of the uh, for the foreseeable future for sure for sure one is women what makes you wanna change people. Oh, well, is it just like how you feeling that day? No, no, no. I'll tell you why. The Frederick Douglass and the Martin Delaney were because Black History Month and because remember we was in that group text and that person disrespected Frederick Douglass? And after that, disrespected Frederick Who Douglass. disrespected Frederick Douglass? Like, oh, I didn't put nobody's business out nah, there, but... Don't don't disrespect don't it. Do someone disrespected Frederick Douglass. Someone disrespected... Don't this, man. Don't do that. Someone nah, disrespected... That, Charles, someone disrespected... Someone Doug. disrespected Frederick That nigga was more photographed than the motherfucking president listen, in his day. Listen, niggas... Some niggas disrespected Frederick. A whole Frederick. century, cuz. Some niggas disrespected... How you the most photographed man in your century? Listen, my man... Nigga, the camera just came out. My man was a slave. Who did it? My man was an enslaved. Nah, fuck out of here. My man was an enslaved Real person. Real Maryland nigga. My man was an enslaved person. Real Maryland nigga. Cook. And fought and fought for the rights of a everybody. lot of a lot of whiskey right here. A, a lot, lot of whiskey. Some a lot. That's yeah, what I'm bullshit. saying. You pulled back, up. They was red. I thought it was me. I thought it. Was, I thought it was me. I thought it was me. I'm just saying, like, you got another one to go. Like bitch in here. That disrespect, I couldn't. I couldn't let. And then Martin Delaney. You know, that's one of that's one of my favorite unsung Black American heroes that people don't talk enough about. Paul Rose. You know, an, another one. So I just had to show love to uh, Martin Delaney, out. a man who doesn't get talked about enough. He got, you know, he had a joint in Brooklyn. He had a theater in Brooklyn. Who? Well, he used to. Who? Paul Robeson. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. Paul Robeson get love in certain pockets of the world. Yeah. Um, but for Charlie Mitchell, the reason why is because people like to say that Shirley Chisholm was the first black woman to run for president, she but that wasn't. is not true. No, she was the it first was one to win the Democratic. On the, yeah. on, the, on a major party ticket, I yeah, believe. Yeah, for or. Sure. On a majority of tickets, yeah. Charlene Mitchell ran in 1968 under the Communist Party, mm-hmm. and I think she was only on about five ballots. But yeah. nonetheless, and ran she ran Midwest for president. Um, and while she didn't really do well, she actually ran for, I think, congressman in a new in a in New York district later on in life and fared pretty well. Didn't win, but um, no, Charlene Mitchell. I feel as though I've been doing a lot of history uh, writing on like some scripts and whatnot, and I think one thing you find is that it's not just a lot of black women like random. Man, I've been on this. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, I've been working on a few different things. So it's just like, <laughs> like if you go from like the eighteen hundreds to basically like nineteen hundreds, you got like Harriet Tubman, Ida B. Wells, mm-hmm. and then it's kind of like where your other black women. You gotta like really kind of like dig into a lot of books and try to like find a particular woman. So I think in the 1900s, the speech club. in the 1900s, you get like a far better um, grasp of like Fannie Lou Hamer, yeah, 1920 and 1940. Um, different people of that, in the, of that ilk. But yeah, uh, I just thought that was, that was all interesting. Shout out to your hang time, Charles. I've been growing my hair for a little bit. I've been growing a little bit. Hang time, man. Yeah, a little something. I've been growing my hair for like seven, eight months now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've been growing my hair for like seven, eight months now. That's not real cool. Uh, shout out, you know, but yeah. Oh, and then my last thing is, shout out WB The Boys. That's my guy. I need to shout him out. He don't get enough He don't get enough credit. Wasn't, wasn't like a room or school or some mention about that in Flowers? The Boys? Some shit was... 
Uh, what was it? A teacher? Was it teacher? Oh, yeah. <laughs> was it a that te- was a teacher's was name. A teacher? Love. Well, Come episode's over. Come on in. Come on in. We might hey, dab you up on camera. We might dab you up on camera. <laughs> come to the camera. Get on the camera. Say hello. Say you got the whole journal. Come with the bank. Where Kelvin at? They was like.